So last year, the giant, enormous Nexus 6 was not a huge success. This time, Google is trying to impress us by not only the size, but also the camera, the speakers, the build quality, and everything. Is the Nexus 6P a great phone to have? I'm Ray with Flashing Droid. Let's begin our review, finally. Looking at the front of the device, what I can see is a Google phone. Well, obviously it's the Nexus 6P from Google. But the industrial design together with the metallic feel and the simplistic design, the phone looks Google-ish. To be honest, both the top and the bottom bezels are quite thick, thanks to the dual front firing speakers. The overall screen-to-body ratio is rated at 71.4%. It is larger than the Note 5, but not in all dimensions. At least the crazy thin 7.3mm aluminum chassis on the Nexus 6P takes the advantage here. Holding this phone for quite a long period of time, I'm pretty sure the P stands for premium. It's the controversial camera bulge. Some say it is ugly as hell, but to me and my eyes, it looks futuristic. So it truly depends on personal preferences. We have to stick with the camera bulge for the whole year anyway. Just two things to be reminded. For some people, lacking a notification light can be fatal. Thankfully, we can enable it on the Nexus 6P. And yes, the USB Type-C port, which does support quick charging. Speaking of the hardware, the Nexus 6P ships with a Snapdragon 810 processor with 3 gigs of RAM instead of 4. 32, 64, or 128 gigs of storage depends on how much you pay for your device. Mind you, there is no micro SD card slot here. However, you are getting the latest build of Android, the Marshmallow. Pure Android, together with the latest and greatest hardware, what you can expect is the smoothest experience money can buy. Now, let's focus on the software side. The ambient display, the screen, will light up with just black and white as you pick up your phone. Cool. Not cool. Not every time works in my experience. The feature that works every time I touch it is the fingerprint sensor. The Nexus imprint is fast and reliable enough for me to recommend to everyone. Time for the new things. By long pressing the settings icon on the top right hand corner of the notification drawer, it will lead you to the system UI tuner. Even the icons to be shown on the status bar can be modified. Meanwhile, it's the app permission. Android is now more secure than ever. The first time to trigger functions like the camera, microphones in all apps will need your approval to run properly. And now on tab. By long pressing the home button will not jump to the Google Now page anymore, but showing the cards on top of the app you're using instead. The camera. The megapixels counted is only 12.3 on the Nexus 6P with f2.0 aperture. However, the relatively low resolution produces high-end quality photos and videos, even under low light condition. Thanks to the 1.55 micron large pixel size, the major drawback is the lack of OIS. But it's lucky enough, the software stabilization works well. The 720p 240fps slow motion is just fine and steady. Continue with a 1080p 30fps footage. Here's the 4K as well. For still photos, the Nexus 6P is able to capture crisp and detailed photos. The saturation, however, is on the higher side.
For night scenes, with the HDR Plus on, not only does it help balance the exposure, but cancels some digital noise and bring in more light as well. Unluckily, without OIS, on a windy night you will get mad for getting a stable shot. If you can do so, the quality is one of the best on a smartphone right now. The 8 megapixels front shooter even impressed me more than the rear one. Just look at how detailed the photo is. Looking at the display on the Nexus 6P, you will find everything looks vibrant and saturated. The Pixel Dense 5.7 inches Quad HD Super AMOLED display is one of the best out there. If you prefer the more natural tone, just head to developer options and switch the display mode to sRGB. So we've come to the speakers. I was totally surprised by how they sound and how loud they are. The battery life eventually, based on our standard test, 26% of the battery was left after 4 hours YouTube videos playback with the highest screen brightness. With almost 5.5 hours screen on time, you will have no problem using it for a whole day. So, let me wrap it up for you. The Nexus 6P has the best camera for a Nexus device, or even one of the best among all smartphones. The build quality is up to the flagship standard in 2015 with a quick, responsive, and reliable fingerprint sensor. The latest and greatest hardware, together with the latest build of Android. Yes, the Nexus 6P is worth picking up.